Here we go. Audience, I had a Powerade earlier today. It was delicious. Uh, what's your favorite kind of Powerade? I like the purple and the blue ones, uh, but the red ones are okay. I really liked the red ones when I was a kid, just because I like fucking cherry flavored everything. Um, Better. <laughs> <laughs> You like cherry flavored everything? I did, yeah. When I was a kid, especially, I loved cherry flavored everything. You were gross as a kid. One time, I ordered a pizza off the internet. The pizza had lots of different meats on it. Have you ever wondered why Canadian bacon is called Canadian bacon and why they don't just call it ham? They had a different name for it in uh, England, but I don't fucking remember what it was called over there. They had a different name for it, though. It wasn't Canadian bacon or ham. It seems kind of weird that the English would have Canadian My bacon. My head itches so bad. <laughs> oh, as soon as it started, I'm like, we have a problem. We were walking from the bar uh, to go back to our hotel, and we happened to walk behind this group of, like, 20 of them. Uh, all, all who had just been through the tournament, so they still got their volleyball shorts on, and <laughs> John had drank a little bit. <laughs> and would not stop fucking yelling about how nice their asses were, so I told them that we had to keep a secret from the volleyball girl and he needed to shut up. When your husband's drunk and desperately wants chicken strips, <laughs> it's tough And to you do. don't have a microwave in your rooms, but the freaking girl at the front desk hooks you up. Thank God. So we're having the thing now where things are slowly starting to open up and some people are happy about it and some people are grumpy about it. Some people don't want to wear masks into Costco. I didn't know what a Costco was until I, uh, I'm trying to remember where I went. I think I went to New York and I, that was the first time I ever been to one. Uh, for those of you who don't live in the Midwest, we don't have Costco, we have Hy-Vee. <laughs> if you don't know what Hy-Vee is, it's like a Costco. It's like a Costco with groceries. And if you don't know what a Costco is, well, then, wow. So one time, I made soup for dinner today. The soup was really good, however, I learned that when the recipe calls for a cup of flour, do not use three of the one-third cups of flour. That's way too much fucking flour. So the soup ended up kind of more like a stew, because the broth was super fucking thick. However, I am king! <laughs> you are king. Damn it! You are Voltron. That's so awesome. He's dead. One time, I went to the store and I bought some chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets are very good for my life, especially I got ones the other day that looked like fucking... Sorry. I did my best, sir. Once upon a time, I saw a girl named Jesus. Now, I don't know. You know what? No, I'm going to abandon this joke. Uh, hi, audience. How is your life going? Are you enjoying the three-day weekend, even though it's long past the weekend for most of you? That was pretty good. I thought that was kind of neat. I had some beans and rice once. Now, I'm not a huge fan of beans and rice, but I did have ham and bean soup over the fall. Now, ham and bean soup is okay. Like, I like ham. Apparently, it's like... Fudge! That was, that was bad. good. No, it was okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was bad. <sighs> it's okay. They're all gonna. They're all gonna take damage, aren't they? Ugh. So I made my freaking awesome uh, chicken alfredo bake, and like sometimes you gotta just not fucking worry about how many calories are in that thing, you know, right? So here's chicken alfredo bake. It's penne pasta, and garlic, and just a fucking like literal megaton fuck ton of cheese. I was a little worried there. I didn't know where it was gonna stop. I just. <laughs> I was <laughs> looking forward to the one where it's just like dot, 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 all the way through. Tell me about what kind of food that a chain chomp you could be. Uh, okay, so chain chomps like to eat uh, meats, but uh, sometimes you gotta give them brown pebbles. But now, what? their teeth are big and sharp, so they don't like brown pebbles as much. So they would prefer the meats if you can get them. You remember that ham bone that we gave to Bowser earlier? They really liked that. In fact, I think those ham bones were actually there for chain chomps, and Bowser just ate them. Nacho grubba. What comes on an order called nacho grubba? Okay, so nacho grubba doesn't actually come with tortilla chips. It comes with uh, super spicy sausage bits, and and it's got like some bacon crumbles on there, and just like a metric fuck ton of cheese. And we're gonna pour the ground beef, but instead of putting the ground beef on there, we're gonna put the ground beef on something else, and just take the grease drippings and pour it on the nachos. <laughs> we're gonna pour it on something else. Um, so we're not gonna inform Johnny of this, but there is a bomb about to go off in his audience. Now, he's not gonna look at it right now because he can't hear a single fucking thing I'm saying. But Editor Johnny, you can see it. And if you'd like to arrow uh, where that bomb is so uh, everybody in the audience can fucking see what I'm talking about. What's this about cats in my audience? <laughs> 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 Should I give you something happier about this situation? Because I'm, I'm sad. Okay, so everybody, don't worry about the fact that, like, everybody in your fucking mother is starting into pigs. Uh, sometimes, uh, look at this. Pigs eat every, uh, anything. Uh, so you don't have to worry about, like, buying all kinds of, like, good food. You can just feed them whatever. And they'll eat whatever, because they're fucking pigs. You really care about your family. 
So I've never uh, watched the movie Mr. 3000. I totally stole that uh, movie title from uh, Family Guy. But I had a, I had this DVD, and I can't remember the name of the DVD, but it had a trailer for Mr. 3000 on it. And it's something like a baseball movie, I guess? Is 3000 like the score? I don't know. It has, like, th there's no concept of things on a page having any meaning for a parrot. Oh, it's like the Chinese box, but because parrots. It's, because it's a fucking parrot. I did <laughs> what, what, really sassed you. Well, I'm just like, what the... It's like, it's totally upsets my anthropology thing. John, we can't even teach chimps to read. So one time, uh, I, we went to the Pirates of the Caribbean ride in Disney World, and my little cousin at the time was, like, absolutely obsessed with pirates. And, like, fuck. You ever just straight up break a video game? I mean, I think I've only had a video game crash on me once, and I th it had nothing to do with glitching. It had everything to do with the game was really fucking old. Pretty sure it was a Game Boy Color game. In fact, it may have been one of- it may have been my copy of Pokemon Red. And I'm just like, I never really watched Judge Judy, but like, battles are not something you have to super pay attention to. So like, she'd go through- I mean, typical Judge Judy episode, she'd go through all these cases, and like, wow, people fucking suck. Like, oh my god, do people suck. And like, the shit they fight over, this one guy had like, that he crashed into his neighbor's garage. Uh -huh. And to prove it, his neighbor had drawn this like, MS Paint. <laughs> Like, <laughs> diagram of exactly where the damage was in his garage, and I'm like, oh my god. So I hope everybody liked my, uh, fucking awesome little bit of poetry there. It's, uh, I'm like every fucking freshman, uh, high school girl who thinks that she can do poetry by writing about feelings. FUCKING GOD! Three, do you thank you. In the future? Oh, that's good. Okay, good. Okay, good. Okay, good. So my name is Bobbery, and my wife died while I was at sea one time, and that was very sad. Uh, but this great person named Mario came by and showed me a letter from my dead wife that that bartender was hiding from me. So now I have a new life's mission to go find that fucking bartender and blow him up. I almost missed pretty much all of them. I could <laughs> tell like I was right on the edge of the window and the game was like, okay, I'll give you a pass, but stop almost being late to class, please. <laughs> God damn it. So we have an odd set of slang here in the Midwest. Um, Especially down at where, where my relatives live in uh, the southern Iowa and Missouri area. Um, so we grew up with words like crick and winda. Uh, my grandma's favorite was britches, uh, which I think is used in, in certain other parts of the world as well. Oh, oh that's, that's okay. That's all right. Okay, so sometimes in life, your husband drives you fucking crazy, right? We s like that! <laughs> like those times! <laughs> I swear to God, next time you do Earth Tremor, I'm fucking ripping that controller away from no, you. No, I don't do that. In the most important edition of the entire <laughs> series, you could have to tell a fun story. Okay. Here we go. Oh, fuck. No, it's my fault. Never okay. mind. Have you guys ever noticed that when fucking Japanese game designers get their hands on a historical figure, they always make them weirdly fucking sexy? So in this vampire game that I'm playing, it's really cool because the guys- Yes! You may kill now! <laughs>